Okay, today I'm going to make some <coughs> rabbit enchiladas in the Instapot. No, not gonna work. So, put a cup of water or a broth. I use the instant bouillon in here. And then going to throw in I have some leftover chicken and I'm just gonna throw in there with it just to use it up but you can use just chicken if you uh, turkey if you uh, rabbit whatever it is and then I'm gonna throw some onions in here Rabbit. Then I have oregano, chili powder, cumin, black pepper, and onion powder. I'm out of garlic powder, so I couldn't use that. But it'll be okay. I couldn't find my paprika. Sad face. So pretty much I'm just using like a taco seasoning. And then I'm going to put my lid on. It's my the pot thing. Make sure the it's in that position. For an hour on meat on high then I'll be back okay this is all of the rabbit and then like t maybe two or three pieces of chicken combined probably two pounds of meat here maybe more I'm not quite sure but here you go. There we go. so and then I have some shredded cheese you could put um, some co uh, cream cheese in it, but I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm not going to, because it'll make me really sick. Got some tortillas. I'd get smaller tortillas to make enchiladas, but my husband complains about my my enchilada, my uh, tortilla sizes. Just grab some that. A little bit of cheese. Pretty much all I'm going to do, roll it up, and then I'll be back. All right, I got my flour tortillas, and then I butchered my corn tortillas. I should have put them in, well, fried them in some oil, but I didn't. I think I'm gonna just throw the shredded, use the rest of the shredded um, rabbit over top. When you debone rabbit, you really need to make sure you uh, don't get uh, any bones. And then I'll grab my sauce. Get enchilada sauce. It's a little lumpy. I uh, didn't do so good at the whole whisking this time around. Usually not lumpy.
Okay. Mama, Mama. Mama is busy. oven for 15 minutes okay so I have to do a voiceover to finish my husband removed the enchiladas from the oven after 15 minutes they set about 10 minutes then removed from the pan this was my first time making rabbit enchiladas and it was pretty good but I think next time I will um, change some things like I would like to add some green chilies to it and then hopefully next time I'll actually have some garlic powder but thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one